Well, we've all been there, right? Standing in front of the mirror, going on a walk, meditating, or just getting alone time and just asking ourselves the question, how, how did I get here? How did this happen? I have no idea why I'm being presented with these options, but this isn't, this isn't what I asked for. Well, are you sure it's not? You know, when we ask spirit for things and we try to manifest things, we're usually going for larger life-changing events, a job, a relationship, something similar to that. And even sometimes with the smaller things, we just ask for what we want. We ask for the end result, but if you've been manifesting for any period of time, you know you, you can't you can't drive the train, you can't drive the bus on the trip to wherever you're going. It, you have to let spirit do that and guide you. And it doesn't always show up the way you want. And in fact, most of the time, the road to getting what you want is distressing, violent, and just rife with change. You don't really anticipate all the changes that are going to have to come your way to get to this new desire, this new destination that you've picked out for yourself. But it's incredible if you just look back over your life at the things that have meant something to you, the big changes that have come. Inevitably, or and overwhelmingly, you're probably going to see a lot of struggle that came before that. And a lot of things that you had to do that you would have never guessed would have led to where you are. And certainly, choices that you were faced with that you were certain that whichever way you chose it was just going to move you further away from your goal and that's your mind that's your ego and that's, that's not how the way it works overwhelmingly if you look at anybody who's been successful what are they going to tell you it was difficult there was a struggle it was hard there were many times i wanted to give up now some people would describe that as resistance and then that's where people get stuck and confused because sometimes we're told if you get too much resistance maybe you're doing the wrong thing but then where's the line how do you know when the resistance you're getting is because you're doing the wrong thing or the resistance you're getting is just what you're interpreting as resistance because spirit is dragging you along a path that you did not recognize and you did not desire but it is dragging you along that path to get you to what you asked for. It's a very fine line. Now for myself, I'm a terrible quitter. And so I'm one of those people that will, I'll just keep working at something even when it's long since past the time that I should have let it go. And sometimes that has served me well in the sense that if you don't give up, you can't fail. You know, because if you don't give up, even if you don't get to your initial destination, it's going to lead you somewhere else on a different path. And then maybe your desire is going to change and the thing that you're trying to manifest will become extraordinarily different than the initial thing that you set out to do. But it only happened because you didn't quit. You stayed on the path, you faced the resistance, and you stayed on the course that spirit was setting out for you instead of the one that your mind tries to get you to change to and that's the other point to the video is a lot of people they face this resistance and they see these things coming that they did not really anticipate and so they change their mind they change what they want to have as their manifestation they just change entirely their personality or their course of action because they're unhappy with what they're seeing so far and they cannot see in their mind a way that it's going to bring them the manifestation that they asked for. And overwhelmingly, this is the thing that leads to people not getting what they want. At least them not getting what they asked for is because they quit too soon. They changed their mind, they changed their plans. And it's all because of this resistance that appears to be something that's steering them the wrong way. But if in your mind you're thinking it's going in the wrong direction, well then, you're going to have to check in with your gut. And if your gut is still telling you, keep going, don't quit. Keep going, don't quit. 
it'll work out it's coming what's coming for you will come it will happen and that's the voice you need to listen to you can't give up on things too early and you can't give yourself too much grief if it takes you too long to give up on the things that you should it's better to err on the side of caution you can't have success by quitting and you can't have failure if you don't give up